Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to do that using a simple profit model. Okay, and so basically we're trying to calculate the, uh, the profit associated with a specific uh, order quantity and, and a demand based on these prices. All right, and uh, what we're missing here is a unit cost. And what we want to have happen is, uh, depending on whatever's in B8, we want to get the relevant... Uh, discount price for the for the unit cost here and to do that I'm going to use uh, the VLOOKUP function okay so there's a couple of ways to access it and uh, I'm going to use the uh, function button here up in the formula bar so when I click on that and I'm in office 2016 uh, it opens up uh, the little formula builder uh, tab here or panel and then uh, in here I can search for a function Okay, so I can use this for any function, and then I can either click Insert Function, or I can just double-click on the function name. All right, once you do that, you end up with the, uh, the Formula Wizard tab, okay, and we can see that over here in the sheet, uh, the VLOOKUP is starting to be filled in. Okay, so the first thing it wants is the lookup value, so I'm going to go ahead and look for whatever's in B8, Okay, and I'm going to go try to find it in a table. And here's the table. So I just point, click, and drag to outline the table. All right, and then when I, whenever I find what is in B8, I'm going to return the value that's in the second column of this table. Okay, all right, so this will work for a table of any size. And if you want, you could return whatever's in the first column too. All right. All right, so the fourth argument's the one that people have the most trouble with, and it takes a value of either true or false. All right, so I could type that in here, but so I can demonstrate both kinds of VLOOKUPs to you, I'm going to use this cell reference out here. Okay. All right, so now the function is done, and I can either hit Enter or I can uh, press Done to, to complete the function. All right. All right, so right now I am using an exact match. So this one works when I type in a value that is in the table. Okay, so if I type in 1,000, okay, it finds a price for me. If I type in 4,000, it finds the price for me. All right, but what happens if I want to say order 3,500? All right, I don't want to order 3,000, I want to order 3,500. All right, when I do that, all of a sudden, uh, the exact match doesn't work. Okay? All right. So this is where we could use an approximate match. I'm going to change the fourth argument from false to true. All right? And we can see that, okay, that changed it to an approximate match. And not only that, but now it picks up the right price. All right. So what the approximate match is actually doing, it's finding the closest value to whatever's in B8. Okay, so I can actually type in pretty much any number I want here, and you know once I get up past 4,000, uh, it'll always say 2130. All right, but I could go all the way down to say one unit. Okay, not a very successful product, I guess, but I could go all the way down to one unit, and it will. It'll pick up the, the price for me. All right, so anything up to a thousand, it gives me that first or the highest cost. All right, and then anything between a thousand and two thousand, it picks off uh, the next level of pricing right here at 23. Okay, just once again, if I change that to an exact match, okay, we get an error message here. Okay. All right, so let me put in a couple of these formulas so you can see how the rest of this was done. And uh, hopefully that helps with VLOOKUP.